Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're looking at a powerful in development animation tool, Cascadour. Now I've covered this one a couple times in the past. I'm covering it today because Cascadour uh, 2022 was just released. This program is in early access, but you can buy it. So really what does that mean anymore? Well, it mostly just means a discount. So what is Cascadour all about? Well, it uses, it's for character animation using a combination of artificial intelligence and physics. So it uses machine learning uh, of previous animation poses and physics calculations to make your animation life easier. So we'll come back to the description of it in just a second. It's probably easier just to demonstrate things. So here you can see Cascadour in action. We got one other demo project to open up. This is a chibi cat. And what we're going to do is show uh, how that auto posing and animation aspect works. We got a number of different control points. By the way, if you need to bring your own model in here and rig it, uh, you can come in here and use this tool right here, which is like an auto rigging tool. And it's about as simple as it gets. What you're doing is you define the areas that you want in your rig, the areas you want to control, so uh, knees, um, feet, and so on. But if you don't need the level of precision, you can just basically unclick the aspects you don't need. You mirror them, and then what you do is more or less fill those control points with balloons, and this will automatically set your um, your weight influences and so on and so forth for you. Uh, it works pretty well, and it's an easy to use tool. So when we got our character right here. Uh, we got a number of different control modes that we can work with, uh, but we're going to go with the uh, auto posing mode. Actually, no, we're going to go with this control point mode. And what we can do is basically grab a point right here and move it. Nothing really too special going on right there, right? This is traditional animation, but watch what happens to the rest of the character as I make the movement happen. It automatically, uh, you know, using a combination of machine learning and other tasks basically figures out what I want to do. So here you can see it's like if I want to do a, someone grabs a hold of the hand and, and yanks away quick, well, there is an animation and the entire rig follows suit. Now let's say if I wanted to go towards the floor, well, this is smart enough to know when I hit the floor and to travel accordingly on the floor. So that makes your, a lot of the, the, you know, the secondary animations, the things that you would have to work on, especially if you're an idiot like me who doesn't rig or animate for a living. Well, this kind of takes care of a lot of that stuff for you uh, and makes your life a little bit easier. But there's more to it than that. What I can do stuff like this is here's a traditional keyframing like so. Well, I can also add ballistics to it, the same keyframe. And then here we'll go ahead and we'll go to the end of this here. So what we've done is we've applied a ballistic curve on this guy as well. And the combination of the auto posing and the ballistic curves and the keyframe animation that we've done. So we've, we've keyframed ourselves using a traditional method or we could bring in motion cap or whatever. But if we then want to apply this ballistics to it on top, well, that's what's happened here. And there you see, and it's smart enough to figure out the secondary anim animations here, the recoil and so on. You have fine tuned control over everything you see here, by the way. So uh, you've got a ton of control over how all these various different things work, if you want to use them or not. Uh, but you can kind of combine uh, physics and traditional keyframe animation together to get the best results or to basically save you time. And you can see a more advanced example of it. I'm going to go back in the timeline to the very beginning. All right, here you go. So this has got a combination of using physics and keyframes and um, the auto rigging. And there you see it all kind of working together. So you can see, you can definitely create some more interesting physics driven animation systems here too. And by the way, if you were wondering, it is not limited to just uh, bipedal characters. Here you can see a, uh, well, I guess it's sort of technically still a bipod, but uh, it could have been an, um, uh, there's a saber tooth example in here as well. So you can uh, have, um, you know, uh, other animals being modeled as well. It doesn't have to just be bipod or biped, uh, bipedal, bipedal animals. Goo, I can't speak today. So anyways, another thing that's going on. So again, we're talking about the um, 2022.1 release here. Well, one of the things we can do, let's grab a couple of these uh, control points in the rig. Well, now we have this new option up here, a node editor. And this allows you to do very fine tuned control. So you zoom in here, you see number of different options and relationships of how the, the various different bones work together in the rig. So you can, you can really modify uh, the way their, um, their rigs work in a very fine tuned manner. 
uh, using this new node-based system. Uh, I do find though, like if I pick a more complex object, it can be pretty chuggish. So I think it needs some performance optimization so it works perfectly. You may have also noticed, and this is another new feature here, there was, oops, I just picked node editor again. Python editor. The Python console is another option here. And now you have the ability to script your scene. So you can do scene generation or modifiers or tweaks or whatever using the Python programming language. So that is nice as well. So those are the two major new features in this particular release, uh, but there's a lot more to it than that. By the way, if you're interested in checking out Cascadeur, it is available at Cascadeur, is that C-A-S-C-A-D, um, EUR.com. If you're wondering what it's all about, again, uh, standalone 3D animation software for creating keyframe animation of 3D characters, humanoids, or otherwise, and also now animals. Uh, you can make 3D animations from scratch, or you could bring in existing mocap, all while retaining full control. Uh, you've got tools to make animation easier for you. You use the laws of physics. And then of course there are machine learning systems in place. Again, you can do uh, critters. It doesn't have to just be bipeds, bi bipedal. I'm not gonna use that word anymore today. There are the rigging tools in there. And again, you can see here's sort of the AI. It's figuring out as the hand is getting to the ground in this scenario, you're gonna see they bring the hand down. It knows that it wants to, to flatten against the ground and it will move accordingly all of the other things move according to how physics should for the character. It does make making more realistic animations definitely a more streamlined and straightforward process, uh, especially again, if you're like myself, who is not an animator. Uh, you see here compatibility, it works with the who's who basically, Unreal, Unity, Daz, uh, Autodesk, 3DS Max, Maya, Mixamo, Blender, Houdini, and Cinema 4D. It exports in FBX though, and it got better FBX uh, support in this release, by the way. So you should be able to use it in basically anything. So it should work in the Godot game engine, no problem at all, O3DE, uh, anything that has FBX or DAA, in, or Colada, I'll say, uh, import should work just fine. By the way, uh, the software itself uh, runs on Mac and Windows, uh, sorry, uh, Linux and Windows with the Mac version coming soon, they say. Uh, in terms of what is in this release, well, they've done some uh, improvements to auto poses, including this new ability to create basically these uh, look at controllers. So you see here for the direction controller, controlling line of sight, and the head turns according to where you're looking. Uh, we've got a number of things that now work better with the auto posing controller, including uh, Twi Machine and selection groups. It uses a new IK system that is uh, much faster improvement, uh, much faster performance, and also um, better um, results out of it. Uh, physics got some updating, including rotation smoothing and improved secondary motion. A uh, number of input control options are available here now. Uh, you can fully customize the viewport controls. Again, you can now do Python scripting. Uh, they use uh, their own built-in Python API, so you can automate operations as ever you wish. There is the new node editor for fine-tuned control over the rig. Um, and then on top of that, we have uh, an alpha release of constraints should help you with animating things like weapons in your scene. Um, other improvements to animations, and we've got improvements to the FBX support, which is always a nice thing, because again, that is until um, the USD format takes over the world, FBX really is the common interchange format these days. So uh, whenever it works better, that is a good thing. So ladies and gentlemen, that is Cascadeur 2022.1 in early access. What does early access mean? Well, that means you get a 50% discount on the purchase. In terms of the costs here, well, this is actually pretty nice. Oh, I'm still searching for a perp. Um, you can get the basic version if you make less than 100K a year completely for free. So if you're just starting out, you can use this tool just free. Uh, you move up to the pro tool level. It's going to be 300 bucks. Currently it's 150 bucks. Uh, this is a subscription. However, it is a very fair subscription. So you get perpetual license with the plan. What that basically means is once you have subscribed for a year, or if you pay annually, such as yay. Uh, so after a year over here, or paid annually, uh, you get a perpetual license. So if you've had it for one year, oh, I did not mean for that to scroll down, uh, but if you've had it for uh, a total of one year, you can basically keep using the software for however long as you want. So if you don't renew your subscription, it's yours. So this is basically the exact same as uh, if you had bought version-based software in the past uh, after a one-year commitment. So that is a very reasonable license. Of course, you're not gonna get updates anymore unless you are still subscribed. Uh, but again, I think that is quite fair. And then the difference between pro and business is, um, mostly support and um, better access to the devs. So for most people that are making money with this software, this is the tier you would be at. 
And if you are just trying it out or just starting out or you make less than 100K a year, it's free, which is also very generous. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is Cascadeur, uh, animation slash uh, AI physics driven animation tool. Uh, if you're not much of an animator, this is definitely one to consider checking out. And if you are an animator, well, you should check it out anyways, because we could all use a new tool in our toolbox. And that is Cascadeur 2022.1 EA released today. Let me know what you think of this tool in general and of this update specifically, and I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.